In today's Sunday solution, we're going to find out what that little light is and why is it on. Stay tuned. It's time for another Sunday solution. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so what a lot of people don't realize, and I didn't even realize at the time, is on your Allison transmissions, you have to change your oil filter every two years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. There's also an hour meter too. Um, I believe it was 2,000 hours. Your oil has to be done every four years or 150,000 miles. So we have the Allison 2500 in our coach which is the uh, 5,000 pound towing capacity. So basically, we're gonna get that done today because we have that light that came on and we've put probably 60,000 on it since it's been uh, changed or something in that range, 50 some thousand. So we're gonna get it done. It's an easy job. You don't need to go to the Red Bay or you know anything like that. Supposedly, it only holds about a pint. You'll lose about a pint of oil transmission fluid from uh, the change. But here's what you're going to need to do this job. So you're going to need a funnel, a rag, filter wrench, a bucket. This is what I'm using. I bought it at uh, Publix or whatever just to uh, put the well back in a little easier. Some gloves. Your uh, transmission fluid, which Allison recommends the TES 295 for my rig. And I'll put a chart in there for the different sizes and transmissions. And an oil filter. So the biggest thing with these oil filters is, there's two things that are important on it. They only want you to hand tighten it and then go one turn by hand, no wrench. Okay, that's the one thing. The second thing, is this right here, this is a magnet. And what's that designed to do is catch any metal particles or shavings if there are any before they hit the filter. So you need to make sure that you take this off. Now there'll be a magnet, there should be a magnet on the one that I take off, which we're gonna do in a little bit. I bought the filter complete with a new magnet and then I'll keep the old magnet as a spare. If you're not doing it this way, if you're just buying the filter, then you have to take the old magnet off, clean it real good, make sure there's no metal shavings on it, and then put it back on. So that's how that works. And I'll put the part number in here. I don't know if it'll show up in the video for the filter. And we'll go from there. So I'll get back to you when we get underneath. We'll get her. Okay. Okay, I get it right. All right, so there's, if you can tell, this is my motor back here. This is your transmission right here. These are your fill filters. So this is your transmission filter right here. And so we're gonna pop that off. Hopefully we don't splash any oil. And we're gonna lose a little bit right here, so. Let that drain. Oh. Come on, baby. Try not to drop it, but it's slippery now. Oh. Come on, man. There we go. It's off. Okay, and as you can see, there's my magnet. So you want to check that. Make sure there's no shavings on it. Any metal that you see and go through it pretty good. Now we're going to save that. I'm trying not to drip on my rug here. So we're going to save this for uh, future use if we ever need one. Okay, 
That looks pretty good. Again, I bought the whole package because to me, it's just easier. So we're gonna clean this off real good. I'll get the new one up there. Uh, and I'm gonna change my gloves, so. Quick, because I don't want to get the new one all nasty. So what I did, while I was up there, is I took a little bit of oil, lubricated that seal, and I pre-filled this filter. And that'll minimize how much I have to put in. The magnet is on there, and all you gotta do is just thread this on there. And get it on, get it started. Okay. Of course, I tried to do it without getting the well everywhere, but I did anyway. This is what always happens anyway. So we'll get it on. We'll wipe it down when we're done. They want you to do is snug it up by hand. We're gonna move this out of the way. Snug it up by hand and then do one full turn by hand and that's it, no wrench. So we'll take I'll dry it off a little bit. So we'll start here. That'll be my full turn. If I can get it that far. I need a little more muscle. And we're just about there. That's good. And that's all there is to it. Now we'll have to go out and run it. And uh, add any fluid if I need any. But since I pre-filled the filter, it probably shouldn't take much. So clean all this off while I'm down here. That's all there is to it, really. Other than starting it up, and we'll have to see if the light clears on its own. There is a code you can punch in to clear it. So, let me slide out and I'll give you a look from the outside of what we did. And that literally took me five minutes, maybe 10, to get all this stuff. All right, so I'll cut back in when we get out. That's all the oil that I used, that I lost. So, the filter's about half full right now. So we're gonna add a little bit, coincidentally, pro tip. If you ever gotta get under your rig and you're in the stone, your spare mat, if you have one, phenomenal way to get under it. Because you can slide on it real easy and you don't have to be laying in the rocks or the mud. So, just a little tip. But uh, let's go inside and Start it up and we'll go from there. To reset the light, and sorry about the beep, but as you turn the key on, do not start the engine, and you gotta move the selector from uh, neutral, drive, neutral, drive, neutral, reverse, neutral. Pausing briefly, less than three seconds between each one. So let's try that. Neutral, drive, neutral, drive, neutral, reverse, neutral. Let's see if it went. Looks like it's gone now. Well, let's try again to make sure. Let it set for a second. And there you go, she's off. We're gonna let her warm up. We're gonna switch between gears and uh, we'll check the fluid. I'll get back to you. All right, so we're getting up to operating temperature. They say they want it up to between 140 and 220, I believe, to uh, check the fluid levels. So as soon as we get there, we're gonna go out and uh, give it a check.
All right, so we had about a quart. We're gonna check it, see where we're at. All right, so that's that. That's how you change the uh, transmission filter. I'll put links for the filter and oil, like I said, in there. And uh, it's a pretty simple job. Uh, we added a, a little bit of fluid, about a quart, and got her back up where she belongs. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, of course, you want to get under there and check again, which I'm going to do, and make sure there's no leaks. And that's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, drop a like. Uh, mention in the comments anything, that, uh, any questions or anything like that you have. So, click subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.